things up before you just start vacuuming. What's the point of vacuuming if I'm gonna pick stuff up ahead of time? Well, you might have vacuumed up my Care Bear for my commemorative charm bracelet. It's, here's something. You gotta there, reach your hand in there and fish this thing out. You put your hand in there. It's your I'm charm bracelet. I'm not the one who vacuumed it up. Oh, hi there. I didn't see you. What are they doing here? Oh, they're here for the mythical show. We totally forgot. Oh, crap. Deep in the heart of the forgotten cave of desolation, a single tear of joy from the proud mother of a child who just completed her first gymnastics routine fell. Into the underground mountain of disillusionment, germinating the dormant seed of hope and subsequently conceiving the mythical show with Rhett and Link. On this week's show, this is science with Rusty and Larnold, Toby Turner, a musical performance, Talkward with the Fine Brothers, Gorgon the Singing Transmission Repairman, and more. And now, Rhett and Link. <laughs> All right. Welcome to the mythical show. Your 30 minutes of not having to click around on the internet. It's happening, Link. It's here. There's a desk with a hole in it. It's not a card table. There's a mic coming out of it. This Our is an upgrade. are going into the microphone. There's Our people visions here. are going into the camera. The people are over here. Got a live studio audience. Yeah, we're working lots of things. You know, I will tell you, we've been on the internet creating videos since at least 2006. That's I mean, seven years, and seven internet years is, no, seven real years is 35 internet years. Which so I mean, means that we're very old, we're, we're archaic. But I, I, I think I can easily say that I am more excited about this than anything I can remember like in the past few hours. <laughs> or in all of our history on the internet. Maybe, I, you know, I feel like we're throwing everything at this show. I've been throwing stuff at this show all day. I've been picking up stuff, I've been throwing it at you, I've been throwing it at the, the audience, <laughs> they've been dodging it. We have, we have dug so deep within ourselves to go back and to figure out what can we do to bring together an entertaining half hour of comedy every single week. For how many weeks have we committed to do this? At least 12. We should have said two. We should have, and we can change it. We could change it in post. Right when you said 12, it could have just been changed to true. All right, this is the only time we're gonna do this. If it goes well, we'll try it again, and then again 12 more times. Uh, you know, it's it's all kind of experimental, the fact that we've got these these people here uh, like flanking us to the left. They're that, in my periphery. I, I feel a sense of approval over here, and then when I look, I'd like to have an overwhelming sense of it, which means yeah. a, a thumbs up. So that, that could be good. Well, the interesting thing is, is that if we had a large facility, which we don't, then we would see the people like it. behind the camera. They would be behind the camera. They would be there. But well, we, we have a small facility, so they're over there. And we've got an illustrious crew over there behind the camera. Crew, welcome. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So I, I kind of think that you're probably in two different boats if you're watching this right now. You may be a mythical beast already, and that means that you may have. I think they need to be in one of two boats. You if they're in two boats at once. Well, you can have one foot in two boats, and it's like boat shoes, and you can cross the ocean <laughs> if they're small enough. It's like water skiing with yeah. boats. <laughs> yeah. But I want you to come into the boat that I'm about to talk about, and that is the mythical beast boat. This is where the herd lives. It's people who've been enjoying the stuff that we've been putting out there on the internet for a while now. Maybe you watched Good Mythical Morning on our second channel, Rhett and Link 2. This and, channel. And maybe you already knew that this was, you've been watching Good Mythical Morning? Yeah. yeah. And maybe uh, you have been anticipating this mythical show. Maybe you're not that person. Maybe your grandma was like, you should watch this mythical show. You should watch the mythical show. Be I've heard all about it. You'll learn something. You're not gonna learn anything. It's not a learning show. This is not show. an educational program. We're not teaching you anything. So forget that, drop you, that. You can read between the lines and learn something. This is, this is our effort to do something like Link said, to create something on the internet that you can sit down, you can click on, and then you can stop clicking and you can watch it. And hopefully you'll be entertained enough to not click away. Don't click, stop, don't, don't think about it. Don't click away, stay on this, and we're gonna do our best to entertain you every single week. Now, when you decide to create your own show, as I know many of you have, g given the, uh, the abilities of the internet, one of the things that I don't have to tell you, 
that people come out of the woodwork saying, oh, I want to be on your show, I want to do something on your show, not the least of which are relatives. And that's definitely happened in our case. And you know, we had to make a decision. If we're going to cut from this spot to another segment, what's going to be that first thing? And we were approached by our uncles, Rusty and Larnold. They asked us if they could have a science segment, and we said, okay, so Probably here it shouldn't, is. but okay. Experimentation. Fascination. Weather. Guess and test. Welcome to this, mm, welcome to This Is Science. Hey, I'm Rusty Ray Barefoot. And I'm Arnold Jernigan Sr. The world is full of stuff that'll make your eyes just want to pop out, like a weasel peeping out of a hole. On today's show, we are going to focus on weather. Typically, if you saw a tornado, you'd dart out of your mobile home and hide in a ditch. But today, we're going to hold it in our hands like Greek gods. But first, allow us to introduce our little helper, Christian. How are you today? I'm doing great, and you? Good, you got good manners, I like that. You got a nice, firm, well, you got a handshake. What are you into? Well, I play bloody games. You know karate? Yes. Give me a trolley horse. Oh, now, hold on now. It's air. I know I have a condition. Now this has really gotten off on the right foot. We're teaching a child to fight. He punched you, and then he punched me. You like girls? Sometimes. She's got legs. She knows how to use them. Why you, listen. Everybody has legs. Would you like to do anything with, with this display? How can a tornado come from a little bottle? Well, you're going to learn that today, son. <laughs> now sing the glitter song. Glitter, glitter, falling down. What are you doing? Don't do that, and I don't know the song. Glitter, glitter, falling, falling down. down. Don't what are do you doing? Don't do that. All right, son, sing the soap song. Make it different than the glitter song. Soap, soap, falling down. That, that's a lot like the glitter song. Now, Christian, have you ever encountered a problem that duct tape couldn't solve? No. I like you. All right, well, let him I'm do this. I'm going to get it started. That's, that's see, the reason I'm doing it is because he's doing it backwards. Tape, tape is going around. When you're done, rip it around. You rhymed round with round. That's the only criticism I have of that song. Turn it over and do like this. I will never do that. Well, I'll help you. Tornado, tornado falling down. When you, when I get to you. Whoa. Let me try. Oh my goodness. I'm not gonna say that was your fault. But I'm not going to say it wasn't either. You ruined it. This is science. You ruined it. Now you have to go away. Okay. Go. We're waiting for you to leave. What do you mean we? All of a sudden you're on his side. If I leave, this thing's going to fall apart. Is this magic or some sort of demon? No. Nope. Nope. This, this is, is science. science. Perfect. Christian was great. I think we should give him a segment and get rid of Rusty and Larnold. I don't, I don't know if they should be invited yeah. back, but he I, he knew karate. He's a violent child. And, but he said what was on his mind. He's yeah. great. He didn't hold back. Okay, well, you may know that we have made some local commercials in the past. I do like know that. The Red House, Chuck Testa. You may have seen some of those. Well, we thought... We can't have a mythical show without bringing back our local commercials. So a little bit later in the show, we are going to premiere a brand new transmission commercial. But first, like we always like to do, we like to establish that these are real businesses. These are not fake businesses with fake ideas. These are real businesses with real marketing schemes, which we help hatch. So here's the behind the scenes of our latest client, Gorgon. We always have our eyes peeled for a local business that is worthy of a local commercial. So when we were recently walking in Burbank, California, we came upon this place. It looks as if two photos were taken of the same person wearing different outfits. One a mechanic outfit and one a singing outfit and then split screened and placed on the sign. Hi, morning, how are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? I'm in the business almost 40 years. Also, uh, I have a TV show, uh, 
17 years. You have a TV show, you've TV had it show. for 17 years? 17 years, I like the art. So you decided on the, on the sign to be half transmission mechanic, half, half, half entertainer, mechanic. Yeah. because that's who you are. So what's happening today? Today, my wife car here would not go in reverse. Very expensive business car. Here, it's not very expensive. Did you notice the sign? What do you think of the sign? When I noticed the sign, I said, whoa, transmission. I always look for stuff like that. Now you tell me, is he a better singer or a better mechanic? Actually, he's a better singer and a mechanic. How famous is he as a singer? He's not like a Michael Jackson, but you see he's a famous person. So, I mean, check out the stuff we got on the wall here. Yeah, incredible. Look, <laughs> see, this is the same picture that is yeah. on his sign. He has a little bit more of a tan as a mechanic. I have a maybe hundred like this. What kind of tape is that? You also show your music videos Plus on your show. <laughs> That's what we need. We need girls dancing in yeah, the shop. I think that something like that is perfect for your commercial. <laughs> now you believe that he's a Michael Jackson? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's a Michael Jackson. We think we want to write a song using one of your instrumental tracks. We want to rewrite the words in English. So you're singing about transmission. So we'll transmission The mythical male boulder grows. This week we got, among many other things, a smashed toy car, some air fresheners, and a wear bacon carved out of wood. Want to mail us something? Visit facebook.com slash Rhett and Link for more info. Thank you. Look how big my feet are. You know what that means. That means they're my boots. What's that noise? What noise? It's like a high-pitched ringing. You hear it? Yeah. Where's it coming from? <laughs> I found it. It's coming from you. It's coming from me? Yep. Inside your ear. That's ridiculous. It can't be coming from inside my ear. It's coming from inside my ear. Yep. There's definitely something in there, but I can't quite make out what it is. You think I need to go to the emergency room or something? Oh, hi. I'm Justin Eatro. Ear trolls go from ear to ear collecting wax. You see, earwax is rather valuable to us ear trolls, much like what you humans call gold. A lot of ear trolls prefer to harvest earwax from smaller creatures like medium-sized dogs, large cats, swine. It's safer that way, of course, but if you want the real deal, the wax that'll pay off all your debts, the wax that could finally allow your beautiful troll wife, by troll standards, to quit her job at the troll diner, the wax that could even allow my troll children to attend the University of Troll. Yes, everything is going to change because of this human earwax. That's why I was letting out the traditional ear troll celebratory chant. Oh no, the fabled doom stick of whiteness! No, no, no. I don't know what it is, but... I got it. Only you can prevent ear troll deaths. Now it's time to play Talkward. Link, please explain what that is. Talkward is the game where you, you hear yourself talk when there's a slight delay in your, in your headphones and it makes it where you can't speak. I can take it from here.
<laughs> what Link's trying to say is that he is hearing his voice at a very slight delay through something called the speech jammer. It makes him sound like an idiot. He already looks like one. Now he sounds like one, too. <laughs> we decided, let's play a game using this, and we call it Talkward, but we're not going to just play it with ourselves. We're going to play it with some very special guests. Link, could you introduce the guest, please? Ladies and gentlemen, then, and, and you, you know the from, from Elders Reacts, Kids React, YouTubers React, uh, my music, and many other things. Welcome to the stage of the Vibro. Thank you so much. Take a seat, sir. Right. Thanks for being the very first guest ever on the Mythical Show. Oh, it's an honor. We are mythically honored. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to play Talk Word. We have right. some categories up here. First of all, we're on teams, Team Beard. Team Beard. And then Team, team Beard. Glasses. Yes. Ooh. Yes. We're pretty bad at it. A lot of people are better than us. But listen, just let it flow. Do yeah. what comes naturally. Here's how it's going to work. We're going to have a series of words, 30 seconds in each round, and we're trying to get our partner, I'm trying to get you, Rafi, to guess the words that I'm giving to you, and I'm going to have a tough time speaking. I'm having a tough time now. I don't even have the thing on. <laughs> but in a second, I'll be having doesn't a very tough time. It doesn't well for us, does it? Mm -hmm. And you get one point for everyone you get right, and if you need to pass, you get a negative point. But let's welcome our scorekeeper straight out of the audience, Kit. <laughs> okay. Uh, Kit, where are you from? Altadena, California. Exactly. And can you tell us what the categories are for this game of Talkward? Well, the first one is hooved animals, yes. brown foods, yes. cartoons with a dog, and internet videos that kids, elders, and YouTubers react to. If Team Glasses wins, she wins a cantaloupe, and if Team Beard wins, she gets a t-shirt. The Mythical Show t-shirt, available at redlink.com slash store. Get one today. What category do you guys pick? Uh, cartoons with a dog. All right, let's do it. Don't peek. Five, four, three, two. One. Uh, this is like a dog and a cat, and it's um, cat dog. Uh, no, it's like kind of a little crass. The Ren and Simpy. Yes. Okay. Uh, he, he's not the winner. Underdog. Yes. Oh, oh, uh, wow. Okay. Th this is. Um, I'm going on on and on. Oh, I started to say hey. And, okay. I started to say hey. Yeah. Okay. You, pass. You got to make sure okay. you're cheating. Okay. Shaggy. <laughs> Look at. <laughs> it was Scooby Doo. Yeah, <laughs> but we're out. Okay, he got two, but he got take one. Take one. That equals one. <laughs> Math genius. <laughs> All right, let's go with brown foods. <laughs> okay. Give me a countdown, right? Three, two, one, go. It's a type of peanut. Uh, they also put it into pies. Uh, uh, put it peanuts in a pie? <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a type of pie that uses this type of peanut. So, potato, uh, sweet potato pie. It's pretty no. Good. Uh, a peanut <laughs> uses a pie? Pass. <laughs> oh. uh, cinnamon Toast Crunch, the cereal, it has this type of thing in it. Brown sugar, cinnamon. Yep. Yes. Uh, you <laughs> are uh, Thanksgiving, no. How are you so good, good at it? You're perfectly. Good. You're talking perfectly. I think it's really smart people have trouble with it. It's how it works. You can take a ball. <laughs> I can? Your clothes were just horrible. Uh, yeah, you, you think a pecan is a peanut. That's your problem. Uh, <laughs> what is a pecan? Okay, I'm going to pick internet videos oh that kids, elders, and YouTubers react to because oh, we have no. a special advantage in that category. <laughs> okay. Except okay. his memory is terrible. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, oh no. I don't. What am I going to say? I'm going to say. Uh, What's wrong with you guys? Uh, <laughs> oh god. Uh, Rick at, oh, nope, I heard buzz. <laughs> uh, let's see, uh, three types of horses that are going on a journey and they go through these crazy mountains. Charlie the unicorn. He's yes. Uh, these aren't smart th things to do to figure out when you're going Dumb ways to. Dumb ways you're done. Yeah. That was close. Yes. Uh, oh, so how many did I they get? Think, did they get that one? Yeah, that. I got that one. I, start, I started it before the buzzer. That counts. That's how it works. You guys are so good at this. What? Did I sound funny? You're, you're, you're Jewish, little... right? Yes. <laughs> what, what are you trying to say? I think Jews, Jews are good at the speech chamber. That's what I just figured out. A new stereotype. All right, I'm going in for the win. I got to get three. We are left with... Hoofed, hoofed animals. animals. Hoofed animals. Not going to happen. Three, I don't know. two, one, go! Um, this is, is something that you can milk with others. Yes. 
<laughs> this is something you see it do, 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 and then it's in a prairie and then it jumps. And it's Can also in Africa. Ka kangaroo? No, no, no <laughs> it's, it's got the horns in it. It looks like a Antelope? deer. Gazelle? Yes. Okay, this is something that goes yeah, oh, yeah, oh. A goat? No, it's a hee -haw. A donkey? Yes. And this is the last thing that you, you just guess. Goat. Yeah! We won almost won more! Oh, no, no, no. You won anyway. We won. You won, we won, we won, won when you three. got three. You won. We yeah! won! Yeah! We won! Congratulations, Kit. You yes! went antelope. You got the thing you didn't want. <laughs> I like it. Oh. What do you guys guys got going on in the, in the near future? You've got like a, a video that we're in, that's your video. Yeah, right now you can watch YouTubers react to Japanese commercials featuring these guys right here and a lot of other people. Oh, My yeah. Music Season 2 is hopefully on its way back. Well, and hopefully. also uh, our animated show Emo Dad should have a new episode next week, I think. Thanks for coming in, guys. Thank Thanks you to the Fine Brothers. And now for the world premiere of Arlen's Transmissions Commercial. Hey baby, how is your car run? Do you have a trouble with your transmission? Shift it, shift it in forward, shift it, shift it in reverse. Domestic O4 in I please you beat my service. Shift it, shift it in forward, shift it, shift it in reverse. Domestic O4 in I please you beat my service. Shifted, shifted in forward, shifted, shifted in reverse. Domestic O4 in idle is you beat my service. Shifted, shifted in forward, shifted, shifted in reverse. Domestic O4 in idle is you beat my service. Hello, my name is Gorgian. Let me I help you shift it. I didn't even get your name. R. R. Barefoot. And you? Lionel Jarnigan, Sr. You're a singer? Yeah. Sing a song for me. He thought you said singer. Oh. I'm Lionel Jarnigan, Sr. Sr. That's good. This is like a date okay. with Gorgon. It's like, have you seen Dirty Dancing? Yeah. Like the, the pottery no, scene? It's not Dirty Dancing, that's Ghost. Yes. Oh yeah. Have you seen Ghost? So Gorgon, you're gonna do the scene from Ghost. The pottery scene from Ghost. So he's gonna come up behind me? Yeah. Yeah, right there. yeah so show me, show me. So she, so yeah, Rhett, show him. Go ahead and start. And he will come in and sort of like help. Okay. Okay, now Gorgon, look at the camera. Look at the good job. And Gorgon, do one where there's no smile, but it's the... Uh, it's serious. Yeah. Serious. <laughs> look at the camera. You bring your transmission to my shop, and I'll let you work on it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That's the message here.
welcome back from the wormhole. How was it? You need to try it. <laughs> need to try the wormhole. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we have produced a mega mythical wheel behind us. Here it is. Here's what we're going to do. We are committed each and every week that you watch this show, as yeah. I expect for you. I like you, it when you speak it with authority. I expect for you to be committed to watching this but show. But don't sound mean. Every week, please. <laughs> In return, That's better. we will commit to you to ending each episode as the mega mythical wheel of mythicality Whoa. dictates. It's going to involve our audience. It's going to be fun. I can't make any guarantees, but I can spin it. You know what? Why don't you spin it, right? Really? But you used to spin it all the time, Good Mythical Morning. But, but yes, that's why I'm but thinking you know, maybe I should. You're right, I should It's a bigger wheel. It. I'm a bigger man. <laughs> your back's messed up, though. You might throw it out. Look how big this is, dude. But I'll brace myself. If your back goes out, it's not my fault. Could you hold my back while I do Just it? let me spin it. <laughs> Just brace me. Brace you? Just brace me with one hand. <laughs> like no, where? I'm here? just Don't touch me. <laughs> don't, here we I'm, go. Don't touch me. Come on, let's hear it. <laughs> How are we going to end this episode? Hotter melon. This is like hot potato, but with a watermelon. <laughs> Thanks for watching The Mythical Show. And thanks to our uncles Rusty and Larnold, Gorgon and Arlen's Transmission, Toby Turner, and the Fine Brothers. And thanks to our crew and our amazing studio audience. <laughs> Remember, you are our marketing department. Thank you for Facebooking, tweeting, Instagramming, whatever it is you do with these episodes. We will see you next Thursday. In the meantime, you can rewatch the segments from this week's show. Thanks for being your mythical best. Can I have that hot watermelon? Don't throw it. Hotter melon, hotter melon. It's too hot. No, it kind of feels like it's been in a fridge. It's, co it's cold, but it's it's just ironic. Colder melon. Have you ever met me? <laughs> I just, I just, just to ask you if you're somebody. <laughs> it looks like we're reaching for each other's. Brush your teeth, get a shower, put on your suit, eat and breakfast, pulled out of your driveway, and then realize you don't have a job. It's not gone, it's just not attached. <laughs>